Hey, uh, fellas, uh, 23, uh, the class of 23 NL NLI signees, uh, 29 guys total. Another four guys um, signed this morning on February 1st. Uh, it's been a good class. Um, the guys that we've gotten to see work out here uh, during the time has been awesome. Uh, they're, they're working hard. They're getting integrated into our brotherhood group. Um, nothing about what they're doing out there is easy um, in those six o'clock mornings. And so they've been a pleasant surprise uh, to see the guys that we we newly signed, um, you know, good additions to our program. Uh, we feel like we're, we're continuing to fill needs, uh, whether they're younger guys or uh, whether they're older guys and coming right now and uh, and plug and play and be ready to go. But uh, but definitely beefing up the defense, as you can see, uh, um, getting more pass rushers, getting more speed in the backfield, uh, getting guys to cover guys and, and getting after the quarterback was definitely a priority in this class, as well as uh, being able to protect the quarterback and um, and add a little, and add a couple more weapons. So, uh, but very pleasant, very, very pleasantly, uh, just, just happy, really happy about what we're doing here. And um, um, we just want to develop and keep them growing. Uh, Rob, go ahead. Yeah, when you look at the entire class and obviously these, these last few guys completed, uh, when you look at the completion of this class and what you guys were trying to accomplish from the beginning, how do these last four kind of seal the deal for as far as what you guys are trying to accomplish? Yeah. Uh, three younger guys, um, you know, three guys that, you know, in a, in, in a year or two or three, you're going to be very happy that they're in your program. They're going to be guys that, uh, you know, there's a local boy in there and uh, there's a kid, there's a kid from the South and and, and then a, a kid that comes from a, a father that played 15 years in, in, in the NFL. And so, um, you know, you're going to be happy about those young guys in here. Um, you know, to me, those are steals. Those are, those are guys that are, are, are program developed and they, they, they buy in and they will come in here and, and eventually grow into top players. Uh, DeMarco Moore uh, was a safety that we had our eye on. Uh, we thought he was one of the best in the country in the Juco level. Um, kid's an absolute ball hawk. He go, he, you know, nine interceptions uh, at his time there at Riverside. And so, uh, it's good to get a guy like that in your backfield and just continue to add uh, depth and, and guys that can come in and uh, and play right away. And so um, when you look at the overall list of guys collectively, you know, there's, you know, there's four wide receivers, there's five offensive linemen. You want to get playmakers. You want to get guys to protect quarterback. Um, we spent a lot of time in the defensive line and, and defensive tackle position, um, safety and corner were definitely a priority for us. And so um, the more speed, the more length, the more size we can build into our program and, and develop these guys, uh, it's going to give us a, a better chance to win these 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 games in the Mountain West. And beyond football, when you look at the kind of guys that you brought into the program, is there a common link w with the conversations that you've had? Is there a certain kind of personality that, that you guys went after? You know, it's we're we're a unique culture, we're a unique place, and and these guys gotta want to be here. That's that's the main common goal. Is you know we we want to go after guys that want to be here, want to be in Hawaii, want to represent this state, want to represent this program, understand my vision and where we want to take this thing. And so, um, and you look at the list, they're all guys that 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 signed up and said, yeah, you know, I want to I want to play for this state, I want to play for the you know, for, for a team that represents this place. And so, um, and you got, you got guys from all over, you know, you got guys from different countries, you got guys from all over the States, you know, you got guys from, from that stayed here from high school, you got guys coming back that lived here from high school. And so uh, it's a unique collective group, but, um, but definitely the buy-in is the most important part of it. Steven, go ahead. Uh, it seems like you kind of went into recruiting this year with a, a two-year plan because uh, you, you seem like you have a lot of uh, uh, gray shirts, a lot of de developmental players. So I was wondering, um, aside from DeMarco, was the, the spring signing period more um, seeking guys to, to develop and sort of a long-range plan as opposed to immediate help? You know, it's – um, it, it's – you, you just kind of look at the lay of the land and, and the rules that were kind of built in and, and, and school for us kind of played a process. In it. And again, we start school, we, 
we're in our fourth week of, of being on campus so far and, and teams are just kind of touching down. This is the first week. And so, um, you know, we start spring ball on Monday and, um, and, and the rules for us kind of apply differently. So, um, you know, we just kind of want to look at, see if we can get the best overall guys into our program. Um, that first signing class, I feel like we got a lot of guys right now ready to play that can go and, and that are are on our field right now practicing with the guys. Some guys will come, have to stay a spring and we'll come back and we'll come back in later and join the team in summer. Um, but, but also too, you want to make sure that you're not so um, invested in JUCOs and portals that you're also invested in the, the long-term development of your program. And, and that's where we are at right now is that, um, you know, this, this school, you know, you look at, you look at the rich tradition, tra tradition of, um, and history of, of guys having second chances that come here or guys that come here and, and were really under recruited and become one of the best in the conference or best in the country. Um, and, and that's what this program is. It is the state and this program allows you to develop your skill set, you know, be around a, a, a great culture, a, a great locker room, um, a great place to live, a great place to be around. And it just kind of lets these guys flourish and become into their own. So, for us, it was kind of twofold. It was really, you know, get guys ready to develop right now, get guys ready to plug and play right now, but also develop as we go along two, three, four, five years from now. Uh, Kyle. Hey, Coach. Um, obviously, today officially signing Doma Topeco Jr. What were those conversations like, and what were what was kind of said on uh, on their on their side to you know. Be, being able to bring them here to Hawaii, um, obviously deep Polynesian roots, but you know, not not exactly from the state. But what what were those conversations like? You know, he was a kid on our radar really early on. Um, you know, he, he just started playing as a freshman. Um, he knew he knew he had great genes. He's a big kid. He just I think he checked in over here at six three, long, twitchy when you watch his film. Um you know, he was going to gray shirt. And, and, and I think, uh, you know, circumstances had, had come up with his family that he needed to come in now. And so, you know, we're, we're going to take a talent like that and, 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 and watch him grow, watch him develop. We had the pleasure of having him as well as a lot of other, you know, guys, uh, recruits from Hawaii that uh, we brought in in this last recruiting week. And we just saw them kind of, you know, just, just really had a good relationship with the, the, the Hawaii guys, as well as, um, as well as our as our guys on our team that hosted them this weekend. And so just seeing them and seeing them all together was a really good looking class. A lot of long guys, a lot of guys that, you know, um, that are really gonna develop and be, be probably some of the best players in the conference in a couple of years. And um with spring starting up next week, um, how many of these guys will be available, you know, early enrollees um that will be a part of the spring roster? Um with this class, I'm not sure how much we have. I'm not sure what the number of guys we have a good number of guys already here. Um, but as far as the guys that signed, uh, they're all going to be summer guys that come in, or they're going to be guys that come in in January. Like Ezekiel will come in in January. Uh, Demarc will be here in the summer. Dillion will be here in the summer, and Demata uh, Demata is going to be here in the summer. But there's a good group of there's a good number of guys that are already here on campus and uh, and participating and they're in their fourth week. I mean, it's been that fast for us. And so they're in their fourth week of school and fifth week. We're hitting spring ball next week, Monday. So um, things are hitting these guys fast, but they've been good. Uh, B Matt, go ahead. Hey, Coach Chang, uh, Kyle actually just asked part of what I was going to ask you, but um, figured I'd follow up about spring ball and. and you know, your, your general plan or philosophy for this spring ball period, given that it's, it's a little earlier than normal. Right. And um, uh, do you have to approach that any differently or um, yeah. What's your outlook? Yeah. The, uh, spring ball will be here shortly. Um, you know, I think it timed out pretty good with our early starting schedule. Um, it, it's starting to, it, it have, we have, we haven't practiced it, but it's starting to, you know, it, it just the looks of it and how we plan this out, you know, it was really a four, these first four weeks of uh, school have been a real grind on our guys. I mean, it was really setting the standard, understanding the culture, understanding the work ethic needed to take and, and really putting it on these guys in the weight room, on the field, 
um, putting a level of training on their on their mental to make sure that they they can handle college football and 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 they responded well. I mean, the locker room again, just leaving off of where we left off last year and and just just continuously building and understanding what we need to do to win these games. It's it's been everything, and so um, you know the next four weeks. Uh, five weeks will be our our spring ball. Excited about that. Excited to see those guys get out there and compete. You know the 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 key is to really implement the run and shoot. Um, continue to to work on our ground game. Continue to work on things on defense and special teams. Getting after the quarterback. Uh, you know, switching up different coverages. Making sure we we pressure guys. We give guys different looks. Um, but still developing. Trying to stay healthy. And that was a big reason why we moved the spring ball up. And so, you know, the earlier we get it done, if guys were to, you know, miss time for whatever reason, we could get them back for, for August kickoff date on that zero week in Vanderbilt. So, um, and then we come back after, after spring ball, we'll finish early and um, we'll, we'll have a week off and they'll come back in March, somewhere in mid March and, uh, and finish off seven weeks of training before they take their May break. And then we'll be right into our two months, of, uh, of of training and getting ready for for football in, in the summer so uh the schedules the schedule is looking like it's a uh, it's been pretty good to us and um uh, but the more importantly this is a huge off season for us and so the hard work continues for our guys and uh, and our staff and continue to grind and so we'll be out here early early next monday tuesday thursday friday um just continue to grind and continue to work on our football skills and uh, one quick follow um, last year to cap spring ball, your, your spring game Island day was kind of like a real launching pad for you. Right. And what you were trying to establish. Um, do, do you have something similar planned this spring? And um, yeah, would the timing work out with, I know there's the construction of the chin complex is supposed to start like right after your spring ball, right? You know, I did not ask for one for this off season. Um, I think the focus is more on just developing and trying to win. And so, um, you know, I, I thought last year was a great time to to bring the community together, to bring people inside the stadium and see what what a potential, what the what what a what a game situation, a game atmosphere would look like. And I thought it was awesome. You know, I think we got you know, we got recruits signed from it, you know, from different sports. And it was a good it was a good outreach. And a lot of the things that I did last year were for outreach and to make sure that the community knew that that we're invested here and, that you know, we'll, we'll, we will represent this state. Um, and 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 do everything possible to win, but you know this off scene is is so big for us and 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 it's so crucial for our development development and winning, and that's the main focus is that we go out there and win games. And so, um, you know, probably might not have a spring spring ball, spring game, and uh, but at the end of the day, you know, if if I could throw one, I would throw one. But my main focus is to try to win, and then and that's that's what I'm that's the message I'm taking to my staff and my guys. Reese, go ahead. Coach, um, I know it's kind of piggybacking off Kyle's question. You talk about Domitop Echo. Um, where do you, you and your staff kind of project seeing him? Do you guys see him more as like an edge rusher and you want to put him on offense? Um, I guess, do you have any plans for him right now? Or? Yeah, right now he looks like an edge rusher. Um, you know, if I get, if, if I see some good athletic ability, maybe, maybe we'll bring him on the offensive side of the ball with his hands and, and those type of things and feel. But uh, but just kind of knowing the genetics of him, um, uh, you know, going after the quarterback might be his his duty, and so, but but he's really twitchy. He's a good sized kid. I mean, the frame on him, his legs, his body, those type of things, they fit really well. Um, and so I'm I'm really I'm really excited about him and and how he looks, and so um, we'll we'll see how he develops though. All right. Uh, Steven. You know, um, I know a lot of guys were excited about you going into the run and shoot, but um, some of the guys you signed um, said they're really enthused about the type of defense you're going to run. Are you switching up the defense or doing something differently this year that got them all pre pumped up? Um, you know, I think I think it's a, an attacking defense. You know, a, a, a defense that will go get after the quarterback, slant, slant, slant the fronts, move the fronts, angle the fronts, um, sending guys at sending guys after the quarterback. In the back and in, in the in the secondary and and at the linebacker position, but but we're going to be more downhill, and we'll 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 ask we'll ask those guys to cover guys and and have to play cover three and man, um, but we'll mix in our quarters coverage is what we did, um, but 
But these guys are, you know, the the type of guys that we brought in to help the defense right now. Um, I'm pretty excited about, man. I mean, we get guys that are coming back home, you know, island guys that are coming back home that 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 want to play here and are focused and they're excited and eager to play. And then we got some good cover guys from all over the country. I mean, guys that we've played against, um, guys that have been, you know, won national championships and. You know, there's there's some there's some good talented guys and there's some young guys inside here that we're going to be able to develop. And so really excited about the group of guys. I mean, it's it's a wide range. You know, and there's there's squad your D tackles and and guys that create create havoc from the inside. And then there's long edge rusher type body guys. And and then there's a you know, you throw in a, almost a sub 10 track guy. And I mean, there's just a, such a wide range of players that we've recruited um, and I'm excited to put everything together. It's 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 gonna look like a different team when you see these guys. Um, Kyle, you got the last question. Uh, quick one about spring. Um, last last spring and then uh, training camp, you made it a point uh, to the fans, to the people that you know come out to practice, watch these boys work. Is that the same mentality for these uh, upcoming spring practices? Or are there gonna be some where it's gonna be just just the uh, just the team? No, the, the 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 message is still there for fans to come out and watch practice. You know, it'll it'll be at seven o'clock in the morning. I think I got it scheduled for seven o'clock to nine o'clock, uh, in the mornings. Uh, Monday, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, we'll take off Super Bowl Monday. I think that should be a national holiday, but that's not mine. Mine to make, but we'll take off. We'll take off on Monday, and um, that Monday, but. You know, it's, and I'm encouraging all fans to come out. Yeah, our doors are always open. Um, we love to see the the fans out here. I know the guys get pumped up and juiced up when when fans are out there. So, um, but but definitely, it's it's a different off season. I mean, this is a work this is a workman's mentality off season. This is probably the biggest off season that I've of. And and usually year one to year two, it's it, it, there's there needs to be a big jump. And so that's the message to the guys. And 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 I'm keeping those guys focused on that. I'm keeping the staff focused on that. And we got to make our, our bet. We got to make our greatest jump right now. And the only way I know how to do that is hard work. It's buy-in. It's continue to work to get better, staying disciplined, detailed, uh, motivated. Um, and, and if they're not motivated after three and 10, then I got the wrong guys in this room and on my staff. And so, um, you know, these guys got to be hungry and, and, and they're working like it. And so the first four weeks, I'm, I'm very, very happy and pleased about where we're at.